This is Derek Franza doing a little bit of a presentation to make sure you know about Game Salad. Game Salad, uh, as you can see, somehow uh, has had its copyright since 2014. Then they somehow stopped copywriting themselves back in 2011. Uh, I did a nationwide cur uh, curriculum for ID Tech Camps so that kids can make iOS video games using Game Salad. Back in the day, it was, uh, you know, it was like someone's experiment, so it was free for the most part. Nowadays, they, they do what Photoshop does. They say you get a subscription to utilize our services for $17 a month. And that's for, like, the right to publish with uh, them putting their insignia in front of your your uh, creation over here like Game Salad Pro it's like you can publish on any platform and they won't have a dumb Game Salad logo but back on their uh, landing page look they uh, go developers or educators educators they want $1600 to buy like a class license and stuff like that see a demo get a quote buy now check out these prices ooh $1700 to make sure your classroom is engaging uh, Video game design. It's kind of a bad deal. Anyway, it's a cool software. I you get a five day trial and then you can buy it for like seventeen dollars a month. But hey, if you wanted to make an app for the iPhone, all of a sudden pay twenty bucks, maybe you could have it and then if you ever wanted to update it, it might cost you another twenty bucks. So this is a little game I made called Triple Terrapin. It's a rip off of Double Dragon. The home screen takes you to... Oh, I guess it didn't take me anywhere. Anyway, you got your project, you got your project's name, your video game's name, and they got mini pictures, you got descriptions. This stuff might be useful if you're like downloading the game and wanted to know about it before you download it. Over here you got scenes, so I got my intro. The street, the industry, the win, the lose, the directions, and the hints. So you start the game, you go intro, intro is just a slideshow, then you go to the street and you got a character that you can control and make them punch dudes, and then the dudes fight back if they're close enough. And you're only allowed to walk in certain, certain ranges. So these are all the placements of the characters, notice some of them are connected to the screen, like this one's a picture of who you're fighting. Each one of these objects has its own logic codes inside of it. The background doesn't really need logic code. It's one thing you're not seeing here is the barrier. See this barrier right here? If I take the barrier and make its color uh, visible, uh, graphics visible. Turn on visibility. Imagine that. The level should change. It didn't. I don't know why. Because supposedly that barrier uh, blocks these areas so you can't walk past them. The barrier. So you can place an object and rotate it. So if I didn't walk past that corner there, I'd place this right there and make it invisible again. And then the character wouldn't be able to walk into a non space. So anyway, this is a uh, this is my actors, all my characters. You can just drag and drop them onto your scene. Bully Lee is the main character of the game, so check out all of his codes. He the game style kind of you know you could use the templates, but who'd really want to? You want to just do it yourself, do it your own way, start from scratch. So you have to say he he uh, moves left, moves right. So every one of these things is a rule. And you can close them, open them. So this says, uh, if I get a left keyboard drop press, then it's going to change a variable to one. So that's just going to be a memory state to help the computer know where he is or let characters interact with him. Animate right. If he's walking to the right, and it concludes these variables are meaning he's walking to the right, then it's going to play these three frames in a 10 frames per second loop 
and that's uh, you know one of the rules that makes him seem like a character in the game. Here's his uh, right jump initiate, and that's like the data that lets you maybe do a a jump kick. See, like that's the jump kick. So sometimes it looks a little redundant, where like this initiate thing it sets character attributes says that bully is attacking and bully is jumping and then this other one looks and says if jump and if direction left then this is and bully uh, change bully's attribute bully attack to one and also animate it so it seems like like that bully attack it's a you know it's a flag that kind of keeps track of he can damage someone else so that's bully these guys right here are the intro animation. So it says, when I start to exist, I move somewhere at a certain speed relative to the scene. And after five seconds, I will move somewhere else. So if you play the game, you know, they move somewhere, and they wait, and then they move somewhere else. So all these little dudes are different actors that just do their motion behavior. And now I've got directions. It says press return to find out about the game. So rapid punch with the Z, jump kick with the C, double left or right for dash uppercut. You take three hits, you lose a heart. Lose three hearts, you lose your game. Press H for hints. Attack effective for 0.3 seconds after initiated. Leave and return to collision zone to do another damage. Cut and move, cut and move. Watch out for the pit. And run past enemies if you want. Button mashing, highly effective. Press 1 at title screen to bypass. So press space, or press H, enter. Oh, game started. Yeah, so that's a little bit about game solid. Remember, you got your actors and you got your levels. And then you got all the code inside of the actors.